Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing Satisfactory today, my favorite factory building game where we find exciting new ways to make ridiculously big spectacles and try to destroy the game's frame rate in the process. First, we built kind of a normal factory, and before you know it, we've got a tornado made out of conveyor belts, which caused some very exciting performance issues. But I thought we could probably do one better, and we turn this lovely valley into a beautiful conveyor belt weave. Hello, slideshow. Feeling not quite tortured enough, we went back to the tornado and turned it into a lovely cocoon. Lastly, we upgraded our massive factory system to take advantage of nuclear power, which produces a whole hell of a lot of waste that isn't easy to get rid of. Now it's so irradiated that if I die and spawn back in, I just die again immediately. But at least we were able to add a warhead to the top of the cocoon. So that's where we are now. Good news though, we somehow successfully made it out this time. Onward to new adventures. So where are we headed to next? Well, I've heard some interesting rumors about a place in the far northeast we can check out. And also the game added this awesome sliding mechanic. Look how action pack this is. So we're gonna slide all the way there. Watch out, big guy. It's time to slide. So many crazy biomes to slide through. Move it, wildlife. Make way for Sir Slides a lot. Dear Diary, it's been three days now and I'm still sliding. I watched the sunrise all while sliding. And here we are, our brand new home. What a beautiful, lovely oasis. <laughs> Tons of sand dunes to do this all day long. And look, we've got local wildlife. Ow! Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. We'll just jetpack over here. You can't cross water, though, right? Right? Haha, <laughs> oh no. Ow. Well, good thing I brought some tools with me. Like this thing to beat up wildlife. I think we're good for the ecosystem already. Okay, so the first thing we need to put down is the hub. This is what allows us to unlock new blueprints and stuff, which we're gonna need. We can't put it in the rock face, can we? Oh, we can, and so we shall. That's what I like to see. Our beautiful base shoved into the side of a rock. And if we mash our face close enough, we can look through to the other side. Looks like there's a bunch of exclamation points trying to draw our attention. So let's have ourselves a tour. This is my lovely craft bench, beautifully mingling with the rock. And over here, we've got our hub terminal which allows us to unlock different milestones. From my previous factory, we've unlocked quite a few, but they've added new stuff in the game, like this aptly named Awesome Shop, which we'll unlock soon. And then this symbol is for, uh, oh, it's for my storage chest <laughs> that, that I can't reach. Oh, is there any way to get to this? Okay, I think I've got an idea on how to get to that. See this room right here? This is normally where you'd respawn if you died. So I wonder if we'll respawn inside the rock face. Good thing I brought this jetpack. Here goes nothing. Let me into my secret factory, please. Oh, ah, my bones. Let's see where I respawn. Okay, here we are in a... <laughs> Um, well, I can't get through this rock either, so I guess we're in our own personal tomb. But at least we've got a bathroom. All right, Mountain Face, you win. Let's build this somewhere else. Let's go with option number two. Starkly in the center of a big, vast desert. Okay, now that the base is set up, let's talk about what we're gonna do this episode. My understanding is unlocking this tier is gonna give us the most premier form of travel, launching our bodies through a tube. But for any of that to happen, we need to set up a supply chain just like before. So we're gonna set up some factories on these mineral deposits, and we'll get our factory up and going in no time. Okay. And until we can get some better power going, we're gonna use these biomass burners for power. So to power these, we need biomass, which we could do by just pulling crap like this out of the ground. But why do that when there's this entire forest over here? And I brought a chainsaw. Take a good look, nature. I'm coming. Oh yeah. Just get in there and it just all goes away. And you know you've hit peak efficiency if you're pulling weeds up while you run with a chainsaw. I bet these trees have been here surviving for thousands of years. Ah, uh, well, what are you gonna do? Ah, see, much better. So beautiful, so barren. The only foliage left. Tiny little twigs rolling in the wind. But hey, check out what all of that did for us. Just miles of beautiful leaves. All in all, we're set up really nicely to put a bunch of fuel into the biomass burners. There we go. Recycle all that foliage in the only way we know how. By burning the hell out of it. And in doing so, it looks like all of our machines are looking nice and powered. Everything here just drilling away. Now all we need to do is give it a place to come out of. Which of course means using my most beautiful friends. Convince belts. And there we go. All this beautiful ore is coming out. Now we just need a place to store and process. And I think I might know just the place. Come on, Mother Nature. I have use of your bountiful land. So we're going to take advantage of this fertile ground for the best possible use. And that's storage containers. Like a lot of containers. Just all over the place. Yeah, okay, this should do. This should be enough storage containers, right? Blessed be to you, Mother Nature, for letting me use all this space for cargo. Which means now all this beautiful ore can be redirected down below for safekeeping. 
keeping. Okay, let's run some conveyor belts all the way down the dunes. And let's see, we'll just connect this here. Good. And then we'll just connect this one here. Connect this guy over here. I've got other drills too, so let's make sure to invite them to Cargoville. Population, all the materials. Ooh, and look what I found over here. Limestone. Don't mind if I do. And you know, that spot up there looks perfect for power plants. Yeah, there we go. Just looking great. Okay, with our basic infrastructure in place, it's time to turn these raw materials into something more tangible. And that means creating a number of production machines, like constructors and assemblers. And we're gonna put those right up there. Yeah, this seems like a good place. Let's make everything beautiful. Ah, uh, much better. Now this is my kind of factory. We got power plants there, materials getting melted down over there, and after all that stuff is processed, it gets sent right on over to manufacturing. Look at it go. We also upgraded our power plants to coal, which is what all that beautiful pollution is in the distance. So you know, overall, business as usual. I could stare at this mess all day. See all these storage containers in the background? We haven't used them all yet, but we actually are using them for storage. Take these boxes of screws, for example. They actually start their cherished lives as these ingots right here, which are lovingly manufactured into this machine here, before being pressed into fine metal rods. The rods eventually find their way to this other machine, and out comes beautiful baby screws, which continue their 10-year journey down this conveyor belt, which takes them through a painful amount of unnecessary twists and turns. You want to know how unnecessary? Look, this is where the screws end up, back on the ground where they started. So yeah, as you can see, everything is pretty much a nightmare just like this. Oh, but don't worry, I have a system system to find things. It's called I go from container to container hoping I find what I'm looking for. And if it's empty, I just keep following the screw trail until I find where it ends. Finally, I found some screws to use. Yes, it's a nightmare, but it's my nightmare. And now you get to share it with me. Now that our factory needs are squared away, it's time to focus on more exciting things, like unlocking something riveting. Specifically, this resource sync bonus program. Just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Oh, look, Satisfactory has a message for me. Hey, don't tell them how long I've been sitting here. Thanks, game, for giving away all my secrets. All right, where were we? Awesome sink, let's do this. So this is one of my favorite parts of the game. We get to unlock those things by feeding the machine this stuff. And once we do that, a big old button appears for us to hit launch. And then we watch as those materials get sent off into the atmosphere, and then they're just gone forever, I guess. I've always wondered what mysteries this thing sees when it flies high into... Wait, what? Wait, really? It just gets stuck in space like that? Wow, really? This whole time I thought it like flew away. Wow, flat earth confirmed. We live in a big dome. Oh, I see. Are you back from your liar's journey? Don't think we don't know what you're up to. Well, now that my worldview is shattered, let's take a look at the awesome shop. So my understanding is the shop part lets you buy cool things. How do I use you? Oh yeah, it's like a catalog of fun things. Ooh, vehicles. <gasps> Fix it factory cart. I have to have it. It takes 10 tickets. I have none. And that's where the awesome sink comes in. Basically, we're going to set this thing down and feed it excess resources. Okay, let's see. We just got to fill its pie hole here. Well, I know where to go. Over to Terror Town. We got plenty of resources over here. So we're just going to add a splitter right on top of the conveyor belt here. And then straight from the production line, we're just going to pull them over. Okay. Yes, yes. Eat it all. There is something really exciting about watching it just crush up everything. Okay, so it looks like as we feed the machine, it gives us points, which eventually get put towards coupons. Like, check it out. There's two. Okay, you know what? I need more faster. Let's upgrade you to Mark V conveyor belt. Okay, things are moving faster now, but we don't have enough pipes to keep up. Okay, no problem. I think I know how to handle this. First, let's use another splitter and split off whatever the hell these are. We'll run these back over to the master conveyor belt, where we're going to use a conveyor merger. There we go, just put that right there. And then connect this to the whole process. Okay, a little more stuff going at once. Huh, all these resources. Some of them just sitting here. Well, this gives me an idea. You know what would probably make all this organization look even better? Putting splitters on everything. That way, everybody can participate. Participate. I'm sure it won't look like a nightmare at all. <laughs> oh god, look at this mess. I may have attached a couple splitters, quite possibly all over the place. It's really helping the decor. An aggressive amount of resources reporting for duty as ordered. Okay, and here at the conveyor belt of prizes, we just need to connect all of these bad boys. So we'll just put a series of mergers down and just start connecting. See, look at that. It couldn't be more simple. The conveyor belts just overwhelm the mergers and out comes a beautiful assortment of crap. Just 
just shove everything in there. No part is too crappy. According to the awesome sink, we have started to give it a little bit more than we did before. Although I can't help but think we can make this go a little faster. I mean, all the stuff flying in right now is a lot of like lower level stuff, but I bet if we added in some more high quality components, this would get even better. And really, what better place to build that than, oh, right over there. Oh boy, let's get started. Okay, there we go. As you can see from this lovely bird's eye view, here's our factory that kind of looks like Cthulhu's face. From way back here, it's actually hard to take in just how much crap is going on here. So in we go. So the goal was to add some of the higher tier items. And I would like to believe we did just that. We also managed to use all the cargo containers, pretty much every single one of them. And pretty much everything is just one giant conveyor belt mess. And it just goes forever and ever and ever. What I'm trying to say is hopefully Ticket Machine is hungry because we're going to feed it now. Oh, and if you're wondering how long it took me to do this, I don't know, 40 hours? If I sound different than I did a moment ago, it's because I've abandoned all sanity. Yes, go forth, my beautiful creations. We're off to see the ticket wizard, and we aim to do it in the most disorganized way possible. And here they are, merging onto the main belt. Ah, what a beautiful sight. I hope the coupon gods are hungry, because here comes a feast. Oh yeah, that's much better. Look at that, just constantly getting tickets. And look at that line graph. Look at this, before I was getting like six to 7,000 points per minute, and now a glorious 13.5 million points per minute. Okay, give them here. 224 glorious coupons. I'll try not to spend them all in one place. Okay, it's time for you, fix it, factory cart. Add to cart. Check out. Okay, bombs away. <laughs> Wait, this is the car? I fit inside this? Welp, okay. <laughs> Finally, ultimate comfort. All right, here we go. Yeah, now we're getting some real speed going. Okay, all things considered, this thing's pretty fun. I mean, it is really impossible to control. Oh, hey, excuse me, what do you think you're doing? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, he's scared. Oh, wow, this thing seems to actually do really well if you just ride it in reverse. And you can see my sad, concentrated face the whole time. Well, we got no choice, I guess. Let's go see what's over there. Oh, boy, look at this lush forest here. Look out, the delicate touch of humankind has arrived. Hey, buddy, do you know where the, uh... <laughs> whoa, 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 come here, buddy. Oh, ignore me, will you? Let me get out and talk to him. Oh, he cared about that, that's for sure. All right, creature, I know when I'm not wanted. Oh, but I'll be back. Because back at base, I have a little surprise for you. When I fled my old base, I brought a little something with me. And that's something is right here in this chest. It's hard to tell based on the picture, but these things right here are essentially explosives. Allow me to demonstrate. Ah, demolition work. Such a noble profession. So I can't help but wonder, can we combine pleasures? Let's see if we can't just attach this to the side. Oh yeah, giant explosive is my co-pilot. Okay, test number one. So having hopped out, looks like the explosive is still intact. Let's see what happens if I detonate. Well, work like a charm. Okay, test number two. Let's see if we, uh, well, okay. I'm not gonna question it. It's part of the vehicle now. Ooh, test subject. Hey, buddy, enjoy. Oh yeah, that worked great. Really? Not even remotely scarred by that? Here, just take one of the face then. Atta boy. Okay, so let's try this again. Maybe what we need is two of these. You know, what the hell? Let's go with three just to be safe. Did I say three? I meant four. Did I say four? Because I just made an amazing discovery. It turns out you can just keep attaching them to each other like, like this. I wonder how many of these you can actually attach. Hatch? Turns out quite a few. Behold, the Hugmaster 9000. With its beefy arms and amazing reach, this thing is ready to embrace anything. Move over, boys. I'm getting in. <laughs> Look at this nightmare. Out of the way, fellas. There's a new sheriff in town. Okay, who wants a piece? Whoa, oh my god, what's happening? What caused me to spin like that? Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Maybe I can just like... Oh, yeah, perfect. Where was I? Well, no sense in wasting this. Come here, buddy. Let me just put a loving arm around you. Let's just enjoy the silence together. Ah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, just walk it off. Never mind the constant explosions happening around you. You know what? What am I doing? Let's just cut out the middleman and go straight to the source. Here, let's build you a nice little cage. How's it feel? You feel good in here? Don't worry, I brought presents for everyone. <laughs> oh god, should I feel kind of bad about that? Especially the part where it's like under its skin. Yeah, you keep posturing like that, I'll keep turning you into part Terminator. <laughs> oh yeah, now we're talking. Let's get one on each joint. Give you that real cyborg feel. Here, have one right in the face. Literally right in the face. Here you go, buddy. Take this one and... Oh! Oh! Okay, it turns out they can only take so much of it. Quick, destroy the evidence! You know, maybe I'm going about this all wrong. I might need to find an animal that can take a little more... Mm, 
oomph. You know, like this thing. Hey there, little guy. Oh, look at him getting up on the hind legs. I can't honestly tell if that's cute or just terrifying. Okay, step one. Make the space giraffe a domicile. Step two. Coax it into its new habitat. Oh, that was easy. Step three. Decorate your new friend. Wow, this is way harder than I thought it would be. This guy keeps moving. Hold still. Jeez, just let me put more on your face. Okay, so me and Mother Brain have been hanging out all night, and as much as I would like to affix more, the frame rate's so bad that I actually can't aim anymore. But you know, between that beautiful face and this beautiful glowing growth, there's about 400 explosives on him. So now that he's properly tagged, let's let him go free. Oh god, every time he moves, the frame rate gets even worse. Yes, be free! <laughs> Take the frame rate with you. Okay, look, I'm sorry to do this to you as much as I want to live and let live. You need to die and let frame rate first. Sorry to do this to you. You know, as we sit here and watch this together. I kind of forgot why we did this in the first place. Hey, but at least we broke the frame rate again. My god, how long is this poor guy gonna keep exploding? Yep, this is still going on. You know, we'll just leave them to the fates. Who knows how long that's gonna be. Well, that was probably enough weaponizing animals for now. Let's focus on weaponizing ourselves now. And by that, I mean let's unlock something called hypertubes, which, as I've been told, is the premier way of human travel. Okay, so let's start simple, see if we can't understand how this works. Here's our beautiful entrance. And now let's add a little bit of this hypertube. Okay, in we go, and huh, ah. Well, that's about what I expected. Oh, God, yes. This is what I was hoping we could do. Okay, what about if we aim this downwards? <laughs> yes, perfect. Okay, onward, and... Uh, oh. Oh, hell yeah. I was hoping we could return to the underworld. I was really hoping we could meet our maker again. Well, this is just filled with infinite possibilities, isn't it? Can I just continue to extend this? Apparently, yes. Like some kind of horrible sand serpent. You can just keep on going down and up and down and up forever and ever and ever. Well, this feels like a gift we need to share with the world. And I think you know what that probably means. That's right. Let's just add a modest number of tubes to everything. What a relaxing way to enjoy the cacophony. Just you, propelled freely through a frictionless tube like a bullet down the barrel of a gun. Watch out on that exit, though. It's pretty impactful. This does have me wondering, though. Which part about this glorious thing caused damage? Do you think it's the part where it's pushing you down? I think we need to do some experimenting. First, let's build a tiny little tower. If we build a tube system, which goes right over the edge and straight down, let's see if that alone causes any damage. Okay, in we go. Huh? Oh, okay. Took just a little over one square of damage. For test number Two, let's see how this treats our frail human body. Okay, in we go. About the same. Okay, so let's go taller. Make the journey a little longer. Surely this will feel good on my spine, right? Only one way to find out. Ooh, that's a lot more ow. Let's keep building higher and higher. Just a tiny amount higher. Oh boy, this is gonna feel great. Okay, everybody, hold on to your internal organs. Wow. Yeah, just walk that off somehow. Well, I'm not gonna let the hypertube beat me. Okay, I think we're about ready. What with all the layers we added? I'm still backing up in the hopes of showing it all. Okay, there we go at long last. The view from the top isn't too bad either. If you look down, it's a long way. And then, of course, over here, we have what I lovingly call the avalanche. What do we think? Do things look any better from up here? So as you can see, we're starting with full health. Now let's hop in so the end can take us. You know, it's strangely peaceful here in the tube. Oh, oh my god. We're alive. Miracle tube. I'm sorry, I doubted you. Maybe it's that beautiful soft sand. So let's aim it up instead and see if we can reach the heavens. Okay, here goes nothing. Going as fast as we can and then, oh, and back up we go. Oh, well, how about that? Right back where we started. I do wonder something, though. If I put an entrance point right here, you can see that it's pulling in air. This gives me an idea. Okay. So as you can see, I added a new element here. And we'll see if the additional air pull adds a little something. Here we go. Okay, here it comes. And, oh, wow, we seem to be moving a bit faster. Uh, strike that a lot faster. Well, I think we know what happens next. And that's a bunch of mini tubes, just like this. Let's try that tall and just see how it goes. Okay, I got a good feeling about this. This. Oh, being launched out here is not what I was expecting. Tower, why have you forsaken me? And did you see those frames where my body was torn inside out? So I think what's happening is we go through super speed. We hit the little gap there, and it sends us flying. Maybe I'm going about this all wrong. Let's try something more horizontal than vertical. So the way the last booster worked, we made a tube system that sucks you in one end, pops you out the other. And then it seemed like if we set up a second tube system so that it sucks you through the first one, you go through a tiny tube, exit the first tube, and then immediately get sucked into the next one. 
one that this would give some extra speed. So let's test this. And just like that, we have our test bed ready to go. So we got five tubes set up here. And as you can see, each one has one segment longer than the last. This is the kind of crap I do all the time, by the way. How else are you going to find the magic unless you test until your eyes bleed? And if you look right past the tubes, you'll see a bunch of piles of concrete just sitting around. And that's because basically I would go in the tube, see how far it launched me, leave a marker. Based on our five tubes, it would appear that for every booster you add, it goes that much farther. Super linear. And that brings us to test number six. The day I realized you could stack them even closer together. And I'm not sure what witchcraft happens when you do this, but if you get enough of them going... Oh boy, do you fly. And fly. And fly. All the way to heaven. Wow, I knew that hypertubes were going to revolutionize travel, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. Have you ever been like, wow, I wish I could be over there now? No problem. We've got you covered. Have a safe trip. Are you ever working early on the job site when all of a sudden you realize you have a hunger? A hunger to do some shopping? Well, don't waste your time walking those like 40 steps. Let the hypertube do that for you. I can taste the savings already. <laughs> or maybe that's all the blood in my mouth. Mouth, or maybe you just want to experience the speed of light and having your face ripped off. Might I suggest the Face Ripper 9000? This lovely system is over 600 meters long, features over 150 boosters, all chained together so that when you're completely atomized, your comfort comes first. So what are you waiting for? Get in there. Such a smooth ride. <laughs> Oh my god, what is happening? Am I seeing the forming of the universe? Is this just all there is? Can I look around? I gotta go lay down. I can't deal. What does it mean? So what are you waiting for? Start your journey today. Oh my god, so I was at the top of my tower thing? And do you know what I spotted? Is that what I think it is? Oh my god, it's my old base. I can't believe we can see that from all the way back here. Well, I think we have our new objective. It's time for us to plot a course. Okay, I think we're ready to go. You know, I'll never get tired of building these cannons. It's like I'm crafting the barrel of a gun every time. Oh, and before we go on our amazing voyage, let's see how many tickets we racked up. Oh, a lovely 928, huh? I'll be taking those. Or maybe I'll just take 500 for now. Let's buy ourselves something nice for the voyage. Ooh, like this coffee cup. I'm just gonna take in this beautiful view one last time. Ah. Well, time to die. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh-huh. Oh, there goes the base. And back to heaven. Okay, too extreme. Now we know. We're gonna jump in about 10 from the back this time. See how this does for us. Okay, a lot more manageable. I feel like these are very nice speeds. I feel like we're gonna hit the ground, though. Or we could go through the ground. <laughs> Must sip coffee before I die. Okay, we're gonna go 14 in this time. And I don't know if this is cheating, but I'm also gonna use my jetpack for controlled bursts. Oh, there it is. All our old stuff. I'm coming for ya. <laughs> oh, oh, we're back-ish. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Feels so good to be constantly irradiated again. Well, feels good to be back. Who would have thought this would ever look orderly by comparison? And more importantly, what is that we see off in the distance there? That's right, the hypertube that brought us here. Well, I hope you had fun. I know I did. I'm gonna see if I can't clean this mess up, as well as make some new friends, and I'll see you next time.